And this is Haymont versus Zach, winner's finals. Winners finals, uh, Haymont versus Zach. This is honestly very unexpected. I expected myself and Alex to be in winners finals, but we both lost to some people, I guess. So it's all right. Haymont's been improving really quickly. He's uh, not the most technical player, but he's really creative and smart. He just like does some really stupid shit sometimes. But hey, we all do stupid shit. And. Uh, like, honestly, I haven't played Zach very much. He's a pretty solid Luigi player, from what I know. He was from SoCal. So, uh, I was getting a taste of the Midwest right now. Or as Eric would say, a taste of Chicago. So, I don't know the set count right now, but Haymont is up two stocks. Nice dash dancing from Haymon. Doesn't really get anything out of it though. When you're dash dancing, like, you're not only trying to, like, confuse your opponent, you're trying to base a reaction out of them, right? So you have to keep in mind, like, if you dash dance for too long they, and they're in shield, they can do anything out of it. They can jump out, they can roll out, they can spot dodge. I mean, spot dodge is, like, the most easily punishable and what most people go for, but you have to keep the other options in mind. Like, it's like right there, uh, Zach did a roll out of shield. And hey, Mom, even though he was dash dancing really well and baiting stuff out of him, he didn't get anything out of it. Hey, what's this account? It's one Okay, yeah. So that was the first game. Hey, Mom, is up again. Oh, bands. If I were Luigi, I would take him to a smaller stage, yeah. Founder Dreams is perfect. But Falcon can stomp through the platforms. Oh, nice. Oh, didn't fast fall it. He was scared that if he messed up, he would have died, so safe option. Oh, nice, nice trade. See, usually it's Luigi who wants to trade with someone because they just mash the, the Nair. Like, they just mash A when they're in hit stun. Um, but, you know. It's really, really hard to win a trade with a knee. Zach brings it right back.
Ooh, nice conversion. Amoth is really good at converting things. When I'm playing him, you just get like a random Nair out of nowhere and like meet straight me into it. I'd die at like 70. We conspire to fuck up the bracket, Koshal. Oh, see, he traded right there. Which is really good for Luigi, because most characters can't combo Luigi, because he just nears out of stuff. And if they try to go for the combo, they'll just eat. They're just like, it'll reset. And they'll take damage. Um, so yeah, him on top of stock again. I don't know how long he can keep it for, though. Ooh, reversed. Orto trade, nice. Oh, that was so good. He hard read he was gonna straight get up. Oh, nice knee. Very nice knee. Ooh. Alright, 2 him on. where is he going to take him? Um, honestly that match was pretty close. I'd take him back, but, you know, he tried another stage. Ooh, Pokemon. This will make it interesting. There's a lot of horizontal space here, so both, both, ah, both characters have a lot of movement options horizontally. I'm not really sure if Luigi's good on this stage or not. I mean, it doesn't seem like he would be bad on it or good on it. But... Apparently he knows something we don't, because he just took first blood. Oh, oh my god, that was such a hard read. Or he might have done that on accident, I don't know. Either way, it was really impressive. Oh, again? Oh my god, oh my god, destruction! Misfire? Oh no. Oh, there we- oh, one misfire too late. The Luigi gods are mocking him. But he says, I don't need god. I can do this all myself. Oh! Okay, he'll never doubt God again. Oh my goodness. He's figured something out. Every time Heymon uh, tries to shuffle an air towards him, he just charges up smash. Except it's like, he's not, he's not even on reacting because he's charging the up smash before Heymon starts the shuffle, the aerial. So, he's like, he's reading his approaches basically right now. That's it, that's it, that should be it. Alright, so Zach just took a game. I wonder will Heymon will take him now. So he can't go to Dreamland and he can't go to FOD. I think battle, yeah, battlefield. Oh, beautiful knee. Look at that conversion. Nair, oh my god. Nair to need a knee, and that's it. 69. We end this. Both players are playing a little more carefully. You can tell Heymon's dancing around his shield a lot. Hey, Sean.
Yeah, right? man. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Is there water? I'm so thirsty. <clears throat> There's like a Pepsi machine over there. Where? Dude, oh, hard reads from Luigi. Uh, dude, Patrick, the Zach's dude. been doing a lot of hard yeah, reads. You should have yeah, seen last. Did you see last game? Yeah, I did. Like every time he wants like shuffled and air him, he just like charged up smash. Yeah, yeah. He's getting tech chase right now though. It's kind of hard for uh, uh, Luigi to deal with tech chasing. This is a really bad stage for Luigi too, because he can like side be under the yeah, yeah, yeah. stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunate. All Luigi's want to avoid this stage. <laughs> In neutral though, I think maybe Luigi even has the upper hand. Yeah, I think it's pretty even in neutral. Um, hey Mont though. Up here hey from hey Month. Good combo. Hey Not getting off. giving Luigi any options. Yeah, there it is. Unless we get a misfire, I doubt we will. Or there's a down B situation, but I don't think this Luigi down B is. That's my number one advice to this Luigi. Learn there's how to down, down B recover. <laughs> He's been charging it, but he hasn't been using it as a He's recovery. been using it as an attack, which is also great. Because yeah. it's, it's a great mix-up. Oh, he tried the jab reset. Didn't get it. Yeah. If you catch them off guard as like a mix-up, like uh, the down B is like a, a godsend. Oh! Oh! oh. That's, that's going to be it, yeah. Oh, that's, that's really sad. Oh. 